And I'm PJ Flinders. This is MediaNet. Top story. The terrorist known only as Bone Machine struck again last night, decimating a low-income housing project. No major injuries are reported, although damage is estimated at $17 million. Security Concept spokesperson Sarah Cable had this to say. Well, the actions of a lone criminal are in no way indicative of the state of Delta City as a whole. Today, Delta City Security unveiled its revolutionary new zero fatality policy, which prohibits the use of lethal force in the apprehension of suspects. Criminals respond with lethal force only when they themselves feel threatened. If the police do not provoke them, then they won't act in that manner. Supporters say they're confident the new act will help ensure that Delta City remains the safest place on Earth. In other news, guess who turned 10 years old today? Yes, Robocop. The Delta City Defend marked his 10th year of operation this morning with a celebratory bash sponsored by Omni Consumer Products, OCP. Delta City's favorite law enforcement cyborg, Robocop, takes the streets in his hard-hitting, long-lasting carnival of carnage. Captured live, captured live. Robocop puts the pedal to the metal with a cast of thousands of DC's finest. Take cover lawbreakers as the future of law enforcement clamps down on wrongdoers citywide. This lethal, high-octane excitement is available exclusively to you, the Delta City Citizen, direct from OCP Entertainment Technology. Own a part of history as the man of steel takes care of business his way. Shocking, thought-provoking, highly entertaining. You bet. Get yours today. Happy birthday, Robo. And thanks for helping make Delta City the safest place on Earth. serious. squatting with shotguns. You got a problem with orders? No, sir, it's just... What? It's just OCP, sir. They've suspended all lethal ammunition. What? This isn't L.A. We do have our rules. Shut up, Sandy. What do you have? Pepper spray and tasers, sir. Pepper spray? And tasers. That Carson over there has some rubber bullets. Nitro! Cable, you got a lot to learn. That's the way things are run here in Delta City. Here we go!
having some trouble? Nothing I can't handle. I don't need a machine to do a cough job. Keep your men back. Officer, I want no unnecessary violence in there. Identify yourself. Identify this, Tin Man! Delta City, the safest place on Earth. Omni Consumer Products is the vanguard of this new age of prosperity. From the shoes on your feet... To the car in your garage. To the home you live in. To the food on your table. If, if you've, you've got, got it, it's, it's from, from OCP. This company is on the verge of complete financial collapse. The privatization of Delta City is more than $700 billion over budget, which makes us the sole owner of the single largest money pit in history. We have a 30% decrease in shareholder confidence and increased competition overseas. Without immediate and decisive action, this corporation's days are numbered. What I want are solutions. That means new ideas. Now, 
what have we got? Should have expected this. How about our junior executives? Mr. Lowe. If I may. Oh, please. We deal in many commodities here at OCP. Children's toys, news entertainment programming, space travel, intercontinental thermonuclear accessories, but information is the true commodity of the 21st century, as our esteemed CEO has indicated. The Asian bloc has invested substantial resources in new technologies. Their advancements in the fields of cybernetics and artificial intelligence has been astronomical, and quite frankly, OCP is being left in the dust. At this point, the only thing that could save this great corporation is a little divine intervention. Sentient artificial intelligence neural net terminus. Saint. Developed by myself and my team here at OCP New Technologies Division is the way of the future. Now, if you watch the video, you'll see the profit potential of the Saint project and the financial benefit to OCP. Imagine the possibilities. A computer capable of thinking for itself. A computer capable of not only automating the day-to-day -day activities of this building, but one that can monitor the people at work within it. A computer that we can control. And after a successful trial run here at OCP, we can expand Saint's influence outward. We can have the direct control of Delta City and its citizens at our very fingertips. A whole city under one roof. And all your eggs in one basket. Streamlining. Increasing efficiency and control. Something that security concepts could stand to bone up on. Security Concepts deals in hard realities, not pipe dreams like a magic box that will fix all our problems in one fell swoop. OCP has no interest in abstractions, Mr. Lowe. This is far from abstract, ma'am. I have a working prototype saint system in the R&D lab as we speak. It was built with presently available components, so no costly new construction is required. With a modest commitment of resources, we could be ready to test Saint on this building in 10 days. All right, Mr. Lowe, you'll have your wish. But I want some hard pills, and fast. Oh, you will, ma'am. That's a promise. Choke on it. <coughs> I have to jury rig some of your existing components, so you may find that you're a little on the delicate side. The replacement parts I requested are back ordered. They might not be in for a couple, three, four weeks. Some of them aren't even made anymore. I'm a little over the hill. Birthday, please. Just thinking. <laughs> That's a dangerous habit. Why do you do this? What? Take care of me. Somebody has to. 
Don't you have family? A lot of them died. And the ones that didn't, I didn't care much for anyway. Want to know the truth? I find it peaceful down here. It's quiet. It used to be all they could do to keep people away. But now, I feel... Mothballed? When they first made me. When they brought me back. I thought that it was for some reason. Believe me, it was. I used to live up on Cadillac Heights. It was a war zone before you came along. I meant in a higher sense. I didn't realize you were a philosopher. Poppy! Smile, Edwin. Smile. We're in business. That's great! How did you convince him? They were practically begging for it, Ed. Practically begging for it. Uh, I'll pick up the schedule then. Um, uh, in six months, I can get... Ten days. System overload. We're going to need full building automation in ten Error. days. I have every confidence in you, Ed. Damien, even if I had the staff that you promised me, which I don't, I, I'd still need to finish constructing the neural net. Uh, do you know what your problem is, Ed? You're too negative. You gotta think positive. We can do this. You can do this. You will do this. This is what I mean. What is this? I'm teaching it. What, a game? Mm. Three-dimensional thinking. What, like 3D? Yeah, Damien, like 3D. You see, you can't program the neural net like a computer. It, it has to learn. The biotic potential. Ed, how long have we known each other? Ten years? Twelve. Haven't I always looked after you? I started low technologies for you, Ed. Yeah, and sold it to OCP. So that you would have the access to the resources you need. <laughs> you said I wouldn't have to work in a basement anymore. See, there you go again. Don't you realize this is your ticket out of the basement? Yeah. Keep me posted. This is it, Ed. This is it. Damien. So this supercomputer, it's gonna what? Hold my dingus while I piss? You'll all be working for me this time next month. It makes sense. Of course it makes sense. Emotions, politics, personal ambitions. Executive They all peak judgment. Bad judgment makes more bad decisions. No emotions, no mistakes. I've been saying that for years. Not that those old bastards want to hear it. How do I maintain the status quo? They are the status quo. This is Damien. Bad judgment makes for bad decisions. You're new. Yeah, just graduated. Executive training program. Nice to have you aboard. Thank you. What's your name? It's Murphy. James Murphy. Save it.
no rest for the wicked. The good don't need any. Mind some company? How are you finding a new position here? It's a struggle. Like everything else, it's a lot of responsibility. Allow me. Sarah Cable. Authorization verified. Membership does have its privileges. Mm -hmm. Going down. I like to think the rewards are earned. I work hard, keep my nose clean. Hmm. And that alone rocketed you to the top. Do you have a point? You know how corporations can be. They see a fast riser and rumors fly. You think I slept my way to the top? You always do have the right information at the right time. Obstacles conveniently disappear from your path. You must have one hell of a guardian angel looking after you. I don't listen to gossip, and I don't believe in angels. Maybe, just maybe, I'm a good executive. But you think things could be better? Sure. Well, things can always be better. So, what are you prepared to do to change the situation? We're friends. I do whatever it takes. OCP practically raised me. After my parents died, if it wasn't for the corporate orphanage, I'd probably be living on the streets in old Detroit. Maybe even worse. I have an obligation to protect this company. Even from itself? Even if it means violating official company policy? If the policy was damaging. Hypothetically. Hypothetically. I suppose I wouldn't have much choice, would I? Glad to hear it. Shot, Murphy. Let him go now. You're under arrest. Take the shot. I mean it. I'll kill him. Let him go now. You're under arrest. Murphy, take the shot. I'll kill him. I swear. What are you prepared to do?
Who is your opponent? No one. It's an old game I seem to keep coming back to. White Knight takes Black Bishop. Black sacrifices Queen. Checkmate. In two moves. Can I help you, officer? I have something to show you. How's a street trooper supposed to get a hold of this? Someone did. You're so sure it's a cop? Why risk bringing it to me? Because you have a good reputation. Concentration, oh, so that's what you call that. Shh. I thought maybe you was taking a nap or something. This is a game of strategy, observation, and patience. And right now, mine is wearing very thin. you beat your next move. Of course you do. What the hell is that? That's the hell checkmate. That's the idea. Cable maneuver. The what? My own patented move. Oh, so you cheated? Say, Poker Murphy. In the end, it all comes down to what you're prepared to do to win.
Top Story, Texas. Famous Texas landmark and memorial, the Alamo, was destroyed by radical militant group, the Sons of Santa Ana, in a belated attempt at retribution for General Sam Houston's defeat of the Mexican army some 200 years ago. A statement issued by the group addressed the extraordinary lapse of nearly two centuries, stating, better late than never. Malcolm Explosion, alleged member of the notorious Gang to Bombs, has filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit against OCP for injuries sustained at the hands of D.C. security. My client's rights have been grossly violated by the police department in this town that would love to turn our beautiful city into their own personal private killing field. Well, if they want to fight, we will give them one. <laughs> Archie Nemesis here, cops without guns. About damn time, I say. At last I can feel safe making an illegal lane change on an empty street at 4 o'clock in the morning without worrying about getting shot to death by some Delta City jarhead all hopped up on caffeine and powdered sugar. Take their guns away. Right on. Take them away. And give them to some private citizens. Now those are people who know how to do some real damage. Good day. Ashley Sinjin Smythe here at what appears to be the aftermath of another assault by the criminal vigilante known only as Bone Machine. Harlan's Donuts, rumored to be a hangout for local drug dealers, was nearly leveled in the dawn attack, which left three dead and dozens injured. Ironically, this establishment was once frequented by officers of the former Detroit Police Department in the years preceding the changeover to D.C. security. Should I get a hit the robot up? Forget about him. Old news. We have to do it all over again. Hey, officer. Over here. He hit it this morning. Took out the bad guys and then went to work on the rest of the place. Really didn't number on it, too. Maybe it was personal. I didn't have the uh, sprinkling one, so that is the plane. You know, I don't know what's worse. The way he kills him or what he does to him after. Guy's a psychopath. Hey, Bixler. Guy better watch himself if he gets in my life. I'll buy that for a dollar. Cesspool. Yeah. Well, maybe this whole OCP thing will do some good. Get more money into the department, some more cops on the street. You really want to trust your life to a conglomerate, Murphy? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I heard one of their guys on uh, Media Break the other night. Sounded like he had some good ideas. Yeah, Sarah's hooked up with them. Some new recruitment program. Really? Said she might be uh, executive material down the line. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Yeah, whatever. Come on, John, what's your problem today? Got a message from Sarah this morning. What? She wants to go through with it. Oh. Oh, hell, I'm sorry, John. She said she just couldn't see herself as a cop's wife anymore. Said she had her own future to worry about. I don't even know what to say. You don't have to say anything. The marriage was still born, Murph. Nothing more to say than that. All units in Sector 7, respond. Over. At 221 to dispatch. Go ahead, over. 221, disturbance reported in the vicinity of Moore and Goodby Street. Possible rabbit dog. Over. Uh, dispatch 221, roger that. Uh, we're on it. Over. See that? We're glorified dog catchers now. <laughs> no guts, no glory, huh? Oh, man.
to get up ahead here, doesn't it? Okay. Blue Wagon always home. Okay, thanks a lot. Yeah. Sounds like the dog's over there. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember what happened the last time we did this? I'm sure you're gonna tell me. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna tell you. Because I had to buy a new pair of pants. Sweet fitting pair of pants? Yeah, 80 bucks to buy you a new pair of pants. Good pants. Worth the price. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. He sounds hungry. It's Starlin. Over the side. No, listen, I'm first the last time, man. No, no, no. I did. I hate this. I hate it. Good boy, huh? Oh, he's a big one, huh? You need that? Let's see. Lay down. Lay down. Oh, yeah. Good boy. That's a good dog. What you eating there, fella, huh? What you got there? What the hell is that? It's human. Yeah. John. John. I'm going inside. We need a warrant. So go get one. Wanna blow the bust? What if he's got another one in there?
Murphy, take the shot. I'll kill him. I mean it. Let him go now. You're under arrest. Take the shot. I'll kill him. What are you prepared to do? Put your gun on the floor, pig. Murphy, what are you prepared to do? Put your gun on the floor, pig. Do it! Murphy. Okay. Okay. Just stay calm. Just stay calm. I'm gonna put the gun on the floor. Nice and easy, huh? Don't you do it. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, huh? There you go. Hey, see that little piggy, huh? Now your partner there. He's a smart one. Sorry, John. Me too. Smart. And dead. <laughs> Where are we going? What's the matter, James? Don't you like a little mystery? I was your age when I joined OCP. We were forced to be reckoned with. We were hungry and we made things happen. Then we started believing our own hype. We got fat and lazy and complacent. And now, excuse me, we're losing ground. The more things have changed, the more OCP has stayed the same. How do you? will spring its greatest triumph. This is about the future. The future of OCP, the future of Delta City. This is about wrestling control of OCP from its decaying bureaucracy and infusing it with fresh blood before it dies. Our blood. Talking about some kind of coup? No. We need people with vision, James. People of strength. People who will do what is necessary to ensure the security of OCP. People like you.
Commander Cable. You remember me, don't you? I guess they stopped calling you Jimmy by now. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a long time. So, how are you finding things? Well, you're the first person from OCP I've seen since I got here. So, not too bad. I just got assigned to Security Concepts. Well, I guess that makes you my boss. I like to think of myself as more of a liaison. What can I do for you? Officially? Well, I just came to introduce myself, but... I heard you have a reputation for being difficult. I've heard that, too. Well, just so you are aware, I can't allow any personal concerns to interfere with my business. I wouldn't expect any less from Alex Murphy's son. It certainly is a small world, isn't it, Commander? His father used to be a friend a long time ago. Now I got something. Watch your back. Yeah. Is there something I can do for you? Hi, James. It's me, your father. It's better this way. For whom? Light on or off? What are you doing here? You ought to lock your doors. You ought to make an appointment. This is official. Isn't it always? Phalanx Bio Booster Armor. prototype security concepts was playing with six or so years back. We were developing a lot of urban pacification hardware back then. Most of it didn't work. Did this? I'm not familiar with the project. Why don't you look into it yourself? Because it seems the head of Delta City Security doesn't have full security clearance. Gold clearance is reserved for executives. We can't go handing out full access to civil servants, Commander Cable. You hired me, Ms. Cable. If not to do my job, then for what? Maybe I could arrange access to the archives. Do it.
Glad to be of service, Commander. Nice office. Probably use a woman's touch, though. You did not tell me that Commander Cable was your husband. I don't like to dwell on the past. Is that why you sent me to talk to him? What was your impression of him? Oh, he's my father's partner. He's a good cop. Too good, as it turns out. Oh. Meaning? He's opened up a line of investigation that could be damaging to trust. To us. And you'd like me to do what? Think of him as a competitor. How would you handle it? Ah, I would remove him. And what would you do to accomplish that? Whatever it takes. Then I'll leave it in your capable hands. Did you know him? Who? My father. Did you know him? No. Neither did I. Something's going on, Ed. I can smell it. Everybody's sneaking around, playing games. It's that damn Sarah Cable. She's got something planned. Why do I care about this? Oh, I don't know, Ed. Maybe because her entire future depends on it. She's cunning. She knows that once Saint's in charge, I'm going to be number one banana. She may even try to sabotage the entire project. Or maybe you're just acting paranoid <laughs> again. Show me a guy who's not paranoid in this company, and I'll show you a dozen daggers in his back. Knowledge is power, Ed, and I need to watch that bitch 24-7. How much longer till we're ready to rock? We're on schedule. Provided I have no more interruptions. By the way, I had to use... Segments from the prototype version neural net. Meaning? Well, because of the nonlinearized architecture, it was the only way I could fill certain gaps. That's what I like about you, Ed. Always thinking. Technology is our friend, Damien. Exactly. Technology is our friend. Fill in those gaps. This is Damien. Technology is our friend. Hello, Dr. Frost. Who is that? Who? It was the technician. I was dreaming. Hmm. Must have been looking for the damn bathroom. How are you feeling today? All systems functioning.
I read you. I'm going to security concept bunker on the west end. I need you to meet me there. I think there's something there you're going to want to see. Roger that. I'm on my way. Cable out. Signed up by John T. Cable. to remain silent. I came here to get answers, Alex. The questions you asked me. You came to me, remember? You have the right to an attorney. Somebody's playing with me. Somebody's playing with both of us. Somebody's using us. Anything you say can be used against you. White Knight. Big Black Vision. I know it's still you in there. Anything you say, Ken. You are Officer Alex Murphy. You took an oath to uphold the law. Anything you say. You're a man. Anything you say. You're not a machine. Kevin. You're a cop. You against you. Run. Run. Run.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the proudest days of my life. <laughs> This, Justin, in a shocking turn of events, the terrorist bone machine has been positively identified as Delta City Security Commander John Terrence Cable. Cable is presently at large and considered to be extremely dangerous, but DC security report that Robocop is hot on his trail. They promise the Delta City Defender will have things wrapped up in time for breakfast. Go get him, Robo. Don't miss When Good Cops Go Bad, The Hunt for John Cable, Friday on Justice Net. If nothing else, I bet the movie will be great. would have been cold, calculating, ruthless, and manipulative. I was right. Shouldn't you be in the basement playing with your magic box, Damien? Technology is our friend, Sarah. Mm -hmm. You're making a play. A good one, too. It's no coincidence that you instituted this zero fatality policy when you did. Sure, looks like great PR. But it also cripples city security just as Bone Machine appears out of nowhere, I might add. OCP is disgraced right in its very own backyard. Damien. What happens next? Hmm? Well, let me run this one up your flagpole. The entire executive board is forced to resign after the debacle, leaving the field wide open for another new board to step up to the plate, headed by, oh, let's say, you. How am I doing? It's good. Nearly flawless. I didn't see it. Except when the story broke, about your ex-hubby being bone machine. Well, I just knew you had to be involved. The old woman doesn't know yet, menopause or something, but you can bet it won't be long before she does. Ah, uh, you mean before you run to her with the story? I think both you and I know where the future of this company lies. Besides, she doesn't like me. I don't like you either. Take a number. Line forms on the left. I want in. <laughs> Pardon me? Whatever you're up to. I want a piece of it. I want in. Because I'd hate for the old bag to see this. You and your ex having a little meeting here yesterday. slow, but she's not that slow. You're in my chair. Get out. The front door was unlocked. That's careless. You want to talk about careless? What's going on out there? 
Don't give me none of that. I don't recall crap neither. I turn on media cut. What do I find? John T. Super Cop Cable running around with my name. Don't believe everything Medianet tells you. Bomb machine was supposed to be Delta City's top cop. You have to learn to be more flexible than that, Albert. Robocop is tracking John as we speak. This will help you locate them. Find Robocop and you'll find John Cable. You keep up your end of the bargain. Complete reinstatement. Albert Bixler, not Bone Machine, will be Delta City's top cop. There are big changes coming, Albert. You could be part of them. All I need from you is one more job. The transfer was approved. Yeah. Where are they sending you? Metro West. Pretty rough. Yeah, OCP sending a lot of new guys up there. You think you're up to it? No, don't. The guy would have walked. What do you expect me to do? Be a cop. I am a cop. I don't know what you are anymore. So why didn't you tell him? Because I owe you. And because I'm still a cop. You can always come back. You watch your back.
know that. That's the hell I got you beat your next move. Of course you do. I didn't even see it coming. That's the idea. The cable maneuver. What do you expect me to do? Be a cop. given us for years of service for putting our lives on the line we were the best there was now what are we dinosaurs an embarrassment a joke I don't want to you. But you don't have a choice. So I guess I don't either. You have to shoot me. No. You're destroying yourself. The only way out is for you to shoot. I... I don't want to die at the hands of a machine. So you make sure it's the man that does the killing. You owe me that much. It's your only choice, Alex.
Watch yourself and get to my line of fire. You! Do I know you, mister? No. Good. The world only makes sense if you force it to. Detroit police officer Albert Bixler was killed last night in a pitched battle in Old Detroit with the Delta City defender Robocop. Bixler had been relieved of duty several years previous following allegations around the shooting death of a suspect. Sadly, Delta City Security Chief John Cable was also killed in the brutal firefight. Commander Cable was himself erroneously identified as Bone Machine. It was revealed today that this was part of a scheme to draw the real vigilante into the open. The plan succeeded but sadly, at the cost of the commander's life. Security Concept spokesperson Sarah Cable had this to say. It's a sad day for all of us here at OCP. Commander Cable was a fine officer and a living symbol of everything that law enforcement in this city has to offer. Yes, a sad day indeed. In other news, although he is reported to have sustained some minor damage, Robocop is said to be in fine shape. Good luck, Robo. And all of us here at MediaNet wish you a speedy recovery. I'll kill him! No. Murphy. Take the shot. I'll do it! What are you prepared to do? Sorry, John. Do it! It's been a while since I've done one of these, so bear with me. That's 
It's all right, Doctor. I have complete faith in you. Uh, there's no guarantee this will work. A lot of us still think the first one was a fluke. <laughs> John was exceptional. 